Hey everybody, happy Friday. It is uh, Friday, September 18th, and uh, just have a few announcements for you guys today. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, hoping I get to see you more in person soon. Um, I know that we just passed our quarter grades, and or not quarter grades, excuse me, our first progress report, and in three to four weeks we'll be heading into our quarter grades, and you guys will get a better Kind of view into uh, how you're doing with distance learning. I hope everybody has fallen into a routine and you guys have gotten everything figured out. It seems like people have have uh, figured out the technology piece and now working through their schedules. And so, um, you know, again, falling into that routine of studying, how important that is, that's critical. Um, I also want to remind you guys something that we normally talk about that we haven't really discussed in a while. And that is sleep and so you guys it's it's very it's critical when you're waking up in the morning especially when you guys are staying home a lot that you set a routine to get up at the same time go to bed at the same time remember that the ideal amount of sleep for a teenager in high school age range is around nine hours of sleep per night and our students uh, report that they get on average 6.25 uh, or six hours and 25 minutes rather of uh, sleep per night so make sure that you're getting to bed at the same time every night um, taking the electronics out of the room especially the phone as we've talked about in the past can be a critical step putting that away and getting the sleep get up at the same time every day try to get up ahead of uh, your class in the morning by about 30 minutes so that you can get something to eat get yourself ready um, and you'll feel a little better about engaging with your teachers and classmates hopefully around that time so uh, a couple other quick things that are coming up. Uh, first of all, our Monday schedule is changing. I sent an email about that uh, yesterday to families. And so if your parents haven't shared that with you yet, please ask them to do so. Uh, we will be meeting at 9.15 to 9.35 on Monday morning. You'll have a single meeting with your PAWS teacher. We're going to try to uh, help lead you through some planning exercises. So you look at your week, kind of like you were doing with your teachers before. Um, so you can see uh, how you're going to schedule out your time, what you need to study for, when are your due dates, all those critical things you need to look ahead to for the week. Um, and then we're going to do some other things with academic competencies and uh, reflecting on the importance of recognizing things like depression uh, in our peers, in ourselves, um, how to respond when we do. We're going to talk about all kinds of things either through that meeting or continuing through our Wednesday pause meeting. So. Uh, those pause meetings continue to be really, really important to us. Pause supports all six of your classes if you're using your pause time wisely. And so Monday, again, you will have one single meeting with your pause teacher, 915 to 935. And the rest of the day is yours uh, to get done uh, what you need to get done with your asynchronous learning. And so we've heard from some students, certainly based upon the schedule that you selected, uh, that some students are getting a lot of asynchronous learning and so hopefully you get more time on Monday get focused in get that taken care of okay it also gives our teachers time to prep appropriately for the class meetings they've got that really dig into the core of the material and that would be Tuesday through Fridays and I know that you students know that so that's really our focus is those one hour meetings that you have with your teachers Tuesday through Friday that those be productive as possible so um, we'll, we'll get your opinion here in a couple weeks and see how Mondays are working out with the new schedule. So uh, again, the details uh, for that came through an email to your parents. Also shared that uh, the week of November 9th, that is 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th, that is Veterans Day week. Veterans Day this year falls on a Wednesday, and so we have a Wednesday holiday on November 11th. Uh, we are going to alter our schedule a little bit that week so that a normal Tuesday and Wednesday schedule will fall on the Monday and Tuesday, then we have Wednesday holiday, so no school on Wednesday, November the 11th. And then we have a normal Thursday and Friday schedule so that you guys don't miss any academic time that week without holiday falling in the middle of the week. So I sent that schedule as well. Uh, we have our Culture Diversity Council meeting on Monday. That is going to be our inaugural meeting. Uh, we have a good, strong group of volunteers for that. Those of you who volunteered, you're awesome, thank you. I think that's gonna be really, uh, valuable for us and hopefully it's valuable for you guys to have a forum to talk about some of these issues that come up in in our school culture specifically and how we handle those things and how we can continue to improve our school culture for everybody who attends Folsom High School and make it a safe uh, inviting place to be who you are um, whoever that is and uh, if you have not received well, you you probably have not received the email from me at this point um, that you get this video um, but you want to check your school email address. 
uh, you are getting invited, most of you, through your school email address. Uh, you will have an invitation, an invitation, likely a Zoom meeting invitation, so we can show you a video with audio over Zoom for Monday's meeting. Monday's meeting for the Culture and Diversity Student Council will be at um, 1030 and we will conclude right around 12 o'clock, so about an hour and a half. And so the invitation and the agenda and the invitation to our Google Classroom for that uh, learning and that exchange uh, will all be in that email. If for some reason you don't hear from me uh, by email by Sunday night, please email me and I will quickly add you to our Zoom invitation and get back to you Monday morning before we have our meeting, all right? So it's Friday and uh, we, we definitely miss you guys around here. It's awfully quiet. We hope you're doing well. And as always, read a good book without pictures. Have a passion for something positive. Tell your family you love them. And our key word as always is balance, guys. Have a great weekend.